Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to keep unused factor levels in a ggplot2 bar plot in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio which is called data and we can also have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data object and then you can see that a new window appears which is showing the structure of our data. As you can see our data consists of three rows and two columns whereby the column X is showing the groups of our data and the column Y is consisting of the corresponding values to each group. Now, what we also can see when we run line 5 of the code is that our grouping column X is consisting of the values A, C and D. However, the levels of this factor are A, B, C, D and E. So, in other words, two levels of our factor are empty. Now, let's assume that we want to draw these data with a ggplot2 package. Then we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package to our studio. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 8 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can draw a basic ggplot2 plot as you can see in lines 10 and 11. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that at the top right of our studio, a new plot object appears, which is called ggp. And we can also print this plot to our studio by running line 12 of the code. And now you can see that a new bar chart is created at the bottom right. And this bar chart is representing our three groups with values A, C and D. However, you can also see that the two empty factor levels B and E are not shown in our bar chart. So if we want to draw these two empty factor levels to our bar chart, we can use the code that you can see in lines 14 and 15. So in these lines of code, I'm using the plot that I have already created as basement. And then I'm adding to this plot the scale x discrete function. And within this function, I'm specifying the drop argument to be equal to false. So if you run lines 14 and 15 of the code together, then you will see that at the bottom right of our studio, our plot is updated. And as you can see, all our factor levels are shown. And for the two empty factor levels B and E, no bar is created. So in this video, I have shown you how to keep unused factor levels in a ggplot2 plot in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. In the description of the video you will also find the R programming code that I have used in this video so you can copy it from there and use it for your own application. And if you have liked the video I would be very happy if you give me thumbs up on the video and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.